Hi, I'm Frank White from Software AG, and I'm here to talk to you today about predictive maintenance in oil and gas. So what is predictive maintenance? Most companies today are doing either run to failure or they're doing scheduled maintenance on their equipment. So this is not a very effective way of, of taking care of your equipment. Companies that have applied predictive maintenance have seen a 36% reduction in downtime on the equipment, saving around $34 million annually. So how do I do predictive maintenance? So it starts with the equipment itself. You have your derricks, your, you have your refineries, you have your oil rigs. You have equipment out there like rotating equipment. You may have SCADA sensors already in place that are giving you information about the equipment. You may need to add more sensors, IoT sensors, to try and work out what else is it that you're missing. So all this information is coming in. You need to be able to connect those devices and some protocols like Modbus and OPC UA are protocols that you need to connect. So, okay, you've connected all your devices, but the equipment is not the only piece of the story. You also need to know what are the critical parts that I need to fix this equipment if it goes wrong, and who are the people that need to be involved to fix this. So integration with your systems of record is a critical part of this. Systems of record are going to tell you, your ERP systems, for example, are going to tell you things like, do I have the parts, do I have the people? So that's your application integration. So now you have all this information coming in. That's your event network about everything that's happening in your company. What are you going to do with that? You're streaming this information through, and you're analyzing it to see where is the problems. Predictive models are basically looking at historical data to look at patterns of failure on the equipment and predicting when failures are going to occur. So this is a very important piece of the puzzle, but it's not the only piece. Knowing that a failure is going to occur and having a red light in the dashboard is of no use if you don't have the people and the parts to be able to fix that before it occurs. So the next part of that is looking at your inventory management systems, looking at your workforce, integrating with them, and alerting the people that they need to take action. Now, what action do they need to take? This is where your standard operating procedures come into play. The standard operating procedure is a very important piece of this. An improvement on standard operating procedures We've seen companies with a 15% reduction in cost through process improvement alone, just by improving on standard operating procedures. This also results in consistency in the quality of delivery, that now you don't have Tom doing it one way and Mary doing it another way. It's consistent across the board. You have to integrate with your suppliers and your partners. Suppliers are going to send you the equipment that you need. Your partners may be actually the ones carrying out the work, doing this, applying the standard operating procedures. So how does Software AG help? Well, we help in most of these things. We do device and application integration. So any device, any application needs to be integrated, we can integrate it for you. We handle streaming analytics for you. All of the information that's coming through and the correlation of the information is there. And we help with the deployment of predictive models. For inventory and management, workforce management, it's integration with your systems of record to, to take action when you need to take the action. And the modeling and the execution of standard operating procedures is also a key part of what Software AG does. If you want more information, please contact us at softwareag.com or contact your local account executive. Thank you.